Hello, hello, hello. I'm back with another video. And today we are going to learn the Alupin. Well, an introduction to the Alupin. So you can decide that if you want to go in the Alupin for more detail, if you want to learn the Alupin further and so. You can, if you are not able to decide which opening to learn and there's a list of openings, and one of those openings is the alapin then you it's, this is just the right video for you and then you can choose that if you want to learn the alapin and if you do want to learn the alapin then you can check some uh, some another videos cause i have one uh, published a video about the detailed alapin but never mind let's start so let me tell you something about the alapin um the alpine is against the sicilian defense so let me just tell you the sicilian defense is something like this then maybe this something like this but the alpine plays this this is the alpine for the white so in this video i'm just going to uh, um tell about white and black but i'm going to give a black two options yes because this is the main type of alapin for white but there are two ways to defend the alapin for a uh, black so i'm going to tell both of them so let's start let me start new analyze and flip the board because we are more on the black side this time so let's start the alapin starts with pawn to e4 it's normal then if the black tries to play the sicilian defense he's in a mood for sicilian today so now white has an option either he can play the traditional sicilian defense or he can go uh, sorry or he can go for the alpin and this video i'm going to teach you alpin so there he goes his pawn is up now okay so what's his main idea here his main idea is to take this pawn here with the support of this pawn so something like this uh white plays this then maybe we will play something this may be then the white plays this so if we attack him he still get the centers he still has his ten centers okay he still has the centers so that's the idea of him his so the white has only one alpin but i'm going to tell you two ways to defend this alpin or to take advantage of the alpin actually yes so when the white plays pawn to e4 we respond with c5 trying to do a sicilian defense and he responds with pawn, uh, pawn to c3 and now this is the alpin okay this is the alpin so now black has two options as i told you before i'm going to tell you two ways to take advantage or defend the alpin the first way is simple the idea is very simple you take out a knight and he attacks on the pawn so the what is the main idea here uh normally if the case was something else the white hat played something like this maybe uh we play this the white plays maybe you no know, this then we could play this and he would be able to defend his pawn so it's a natural move it's a natural move but what's the idea here now idea is that when we are taking our knight out we are attacking but there is no knight to c3 so he cannot defend in the traditional way and if you are white i'm going to tell you from white also you know you can either be white and you will say i i i am a white person and now what do i do everybody is playing alpin against me everybody is watch your video well maybe not in this year but now what i say 
never know what can happen. So I stop talking about my videos, how my videos will go. So we can play a knight to f6. So opponent can't do the traditional saving of his pawn. So uh, white should play here. Uh, this is this is what is played in the alipin. So what will you do if you are black? You will go in the center. Okay, that was the first option to defend or take advantage of the alipin. Now what is the second way? The second way um, is also taking the same kind of advantage. Let me tell you how. The white responds with the alpin and we play our pawn to d5. Now, why did we play that? Uh, he will take and we'll take. Let me tell you why. Normally, uh, the situation would be a little bit different. Play this and our opponent will play probably something like this. Something. He played this. He plays this. We are killed with our queen and he attacks and we normally go back. That's the case. But in the alapin, it's a little bit different. We trade our pawns, but there is no knight to c3. So our queen is now safe. The queen is all out, ready to attack. It's in the center. Getting all the main squares. Uh, okay, sorry, why did I say main? Getting a loads of squares. Sorry. Getting a loads of squares and looking great today. All powerful. I think she uh, she's doing a diet. So she comes out, attacks on all many places, and that's just how it goes. So there is no knight to c3, no attacks, normal, the queen is so powerful now, the queen is so powerful. So that was the alpin. Now let me give you a thought. I'm just going to switch the board. If this is not uh, something real, like I don't think that this is real, you know, there are so many ways to defend, but this is what I would play if I was in this situation. I would either go for the bishop to c4, no, sorry, not this. I would play my pawn to c4 with the support of this bishop. Sorry, I went the wrong way. I'm going to play my pawn. Oh, one. That. I'm going to play my pawn to c4 with the support of this bishop. So the queen has to go somewhere. Okay. So that's another way to defend this. But I'm pretty sure that this is not a real thing. So don't tell your friends that uh, I don't know the name of the thing. Or uh, this is a real thing. Okay. This is not a real thing. This is. I'm pretty sure I made this up. So you can give it a shot. If you like it, go ahead. Play this pawn here with the support of this amazing bishop. I'll attack the queen. But another way, way advantage of the queen to d5 is that now this pawn is pinned. If you remove this pawn, we are going to take the bishop, uh, the rooks. So that was an introduction to the alpin. Uh, you can decide uh, if you want to go a little bit more detailed in the alpin. So if you want to know more, if you want to learn the alpin next in detail, go ahead. This was just a slight introduction. And if you think that this is all the knowledge you need, okay, go ahead, go ahead and play this against the, slow, uh, the strong players. Yes. So, bye.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And um, tell me again. This is the second time I'm saying it, but there were no comments uh, in the last time. So please comment that should I make more tutorials? Did you understand my tutorials? So it would be really helpful if you do comment. I'll be able to understand what uh, what what videos you expect from me, what you like the more, what you would prefer. Okay. So bye.